Ooh, it tastes like matches. <laughs> What are you doing with that, Dad? <laughs> right, uh, it is day 2032. Who knows what it is at the moment, but it's probably the third weekend we've had the cars in our possession and we're working on them. You right, dog? <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm, I, I've done... Let's have a look at the car and I'll talk you through it. So we've done a major cut firstly, you, the, the paint was all powdery and white, remember? And we did a big cut and we spent many hours on it and there's a lot of intricate parts. It looked good when we pulled it outside, but on inspection under the light in the garage here, there were still cloudy patches in, in the grooves uh, on parts of the bonnet. So I thought, no, we're going to do better than this. So originally we used a nice hard cutting pad with cutting compound but then I started using the polishing pad with cutting compound two more hits over the body then I used two different levels of polish so we've got a medium polish and then a glass on top of that so I've given another four hits over the car and the results are stunning really um, even the black here is coming up nice like the paint is just so this isn't a clear coated paint. This is like a, probably a one stage they used to call it. It's a baked enamel. It's actually pretty soft. Anyway, so I've got this side to do. But this morning, I'm about to go to work in two hours. So I thought before I get all messy, I'm going to change the indicator. We're waiting for the surround. There's a surround to come, but we've got a new indicator. So I might just do a quick service this morning. The new filters, indicator belt which I'm not really sure looks like it's the right width. We've got some plugs and a filter. All the meskies. Look at it. What a absolute nightmare. Three vehicles are spread out across this table. Anyway, it's it seems like it's done but there's always just a little bit more to make it polished. Oh and I want to get some paint for it too to just touch up a few of these spots where we've got um, like stone chips and whatnot and some chroming and some cleaning. Anyway, it never ends. Let's get started. Oh geez, that's, that was barely on. Out we come. Okay, we'll unclip that and put the new one in. I'll be damned, it comes with a brand new bulb. Huh? Well, I might just change, might just change bulbs, but I'll leave the wiring there and leave that as a spare in the glove box. Oh, I'll be damned. It doesn't. What the fuck? You can see there's an obvious difference. I didn't pick it up while it was in the box, but as soon as I pulled it out and laid it up next to this one, it's obviously a lot smaller. Fat chance of that getting done today. Now I've got to go through the whole bullshit of sending it back and waiting and finding another part. You know, I photographed the numbers that were on the car. See if I can Google those and find them another way. Anyway, let's see if we can do something else. All right, time for filter. And then plugs. Now that's a drop-in filter. Okay. All right, I tried the spark plugs next. They are the, they're too big. They're just slightly bigger than what they should be uh, based on the spark plug remover. So now I've got to go and find a socket that fits that. So I thought, let's give the belt a try. It looks a little bit small, but hey, let's give it a shot anyway. So I'm going to loosen off the old one, see if this one fits, hopefully, because we're not getting anywhere here. All right, we've got it off and it looks like it is a match. Rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Oh, look at that, straight on. Straight on. Oh, beautiful. So belt, belt ski is on. So we've got a bit of slack in it now. So all we've got to do is slide the alternator that way towards the firewall put tension in it, in the belt, and then we're right. So let's see if I can get this one done at least. <laughs> Okie dog, new belt is on and she is nice. Nice and firm, nice and tight, not too tight. And then we've just dropped the oil. There we go, hello oil. A little bit cloudy, but not black. So that's done, next I'll do the filter. Then we shall plug her up and I have to go get some oil, get some on the way home. 
Okay, oil filter out. Old one, it's actually not too bad. New one, same. Remember to always put a little bit of oil around the ring. Use a bit of the old oil and then we'll screw that up. Drama averted, we found ourselves in amongst my pile of garbage. I found the correct uh, spark plug remover. So I'm just about to pull this first one out. Let's see what the plug looks like. Eh? That is a pretty bloody good looking plug. A bit burnt around the porcelain there, but that is not super black or super white. It's just right. It's ever... Smells like a good mix of carbon and fuel. Ooh, it tastes like matches. <laughs> Let's put the newbies in. As long as this part is the same, gaps the same. Let's install. All right, back home from work. Oil time. I'm gonna leave it at that for the moment. We'll check it and get back to the detailing or the cutting and polishing. All right, so the roof rack was broken. These are the plastic linkages that go inside the frame. And um, as you can see, if you can see that, I have JB welded or DevCon. It's a two part hardener, it's like uh, liquid metal. Anyway, I've got that done on both sides here. So I'm gonna try to bring this all together and reassemble it onto my little red ripper. Right, we've got this screwed up. See if we can delicately turn this over. So I've got a screw thing from underneath, which is a bit of a bitch. So let's see if we can balance this here. Get these. Oh shit! It broke. Ah, oh, too much weight on it. That's what it is. I could just have got it together. Bugger! All right, I'm going to have to start again on that one now. Peel it off and whatever. Yada yada. Okay, let's do it again. After patching the roof rack yet again and setting it aside, this time in the sun to cure, I moved on to the Mazda and started with the engine mounts. So what I'm going to do is support underneath the, the transmission here. We'll drop all these off and put the new one on and hopefully that'll bring everything up, which will help with the other ones. That should work. Okay, so I've got a bit of weight under that. Now I'll try and undo the bolts. Battery. Alrighty, there was a bit of uh, fart assing about. Looks like I'm missing a rubber, but that was on it. And the new one doesn't have that. Which is a bit of a shame. Look at that. She's way off centre. So that's the weight pulling downwards of the engine and gearbox, which has slowly destroyed it. So we'll put the new one in, but I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not, not got those rubbers. Not sure it's super important. Anyway. Uh, okay, we have progressed a bit more. So we've got two mounts out now. This is, this is what they call the dampener mount at the bottom of the car. It was in two pieces. So it wasn't even doing anything. So this is the back engine mount. Um, it needs replacing, but I cannot, and I do not, sorry, have the tools to correctly do that. Down in here, I mean, they're on so tight, I had to use a breaker bar and pipe to get this one off. So that's going to be like that behind the motor. So I'm not going to be able to do that. So I'll, I'll hand those in. So when someone gets a service done, someone, a mechanic can do that. That'll go with the car. I've just done, as I said, those, so there's two mounts done. And I found out there's another mount that's rooted as hell. So I'm going to have to buy that. And now I'm going to start on the valve covers. Not going to do that one. Again, too much work for me. I'll hand the, cap, the gasket over, but you can see the oil's been coming out here. So I'll do this one here. That's not as hard. We'll replace that now. While I was tinkering away on the valve cover, Jordan had shown up and began working on the laser and had a surprise visit from my dad who proceeded to join in and give me a hand. Look at that is so brittle. How the hell? I can't even get that off. Yeah, it's baked on. Oh, right, there we go. <laughs> See, that's all right in there. Yeah. Okay, so that's... Put a new one. 
That's how it came out. And it's like stiff as a surfboard. So now we've got to work out which one replaces it. So that goes up in that way. That's the correct one. Yep. All right. So ta-ta, you piece of junk. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Sweet. Probably a bit hard to hold that in there. I'll do it, I'll do it, Adam. I'll do a Mr. Bean style. Do you ever watch that movie? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Have you seen that one on holidays? Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> Why don't you put rubbers around it? Oh, because I don't have to worry about it. So you come along. <laughs> Just shut up, I'm the director here at the moment. Alright. Now don't touch it, don't touch it. You break it. Oh, okay. Automatic. Just let it. Yeah, if you turn that, it'll turn. Turn the thing, watch, turn it. See? Yeah, you do that, you'll break it. <laughs> Don't break it. It's very costly. There you go. Okie doke, we are spark plugging. And we need to... So I can't get the plug out, so this is what we do. We get this rubber that I make it. Like this. And we put the rubber on the end of the plug come on and we get one plug then to get the plug back in put that on there That looks good enough, mate. You're right, Pop. <laughs> car. Dad, car, 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 two cars. There's a lot of vehicles here. There's just snakes everywhere. What are you doing? So everything is back on. Tap it cover's done. Oil change, new plugs, everything is on and reassembled. Can you fire it up, old boy? What are you calling old? Sounds good. Hey, listen to him. Be interesting to see if anything comes out of these, hopefully not. At least I put it all back together and it works. Oh, what's that oil there? What's this oil? Mm. Uh, out of the... Huh. It's leaking out straight out of the uh, oil filter. Oh. Can you run it again, Dad? Yeah. Fresh brake fluid was installed as well as a good brake bleed before we installed these beautifully painted fresh silver looking rims. Then we again did the obligatory back the car out and check it out in the afternoon light. Yeah, that might surprising how much that stands out now. Oh mate, that looks fucking amazing. I'm gonna get that off too. <laughs> looks so red in the picture. Progress, finally. Um, 
the Mazda 626 that we've had listed for a week, no many, not many bites. Did the full service today, changed the front um, tappet cover gasket, did two engine mounts. Third one I can't do, I'm not going to do, it's too hard. Same with the rear gasket. Um, I'm just going to put them in with the spares and tell somebody, you know, I'll take a bit off if you want to take the spares and get a mechanic to do it. This, this is the thing that's really blowing my head at the moment. Like it is just seriously looks like it's not long off the showroom floor. Um, we've got to get a new indicator. That's just, we've cleaned it up today, but it's not looking good. Look at the roof racks. I've had someone inquire about, hey, where'd you get them from? And I went, I have no idea. And I have no idea what brand they are. But I am loving this old laser. I wouldn't mind keeping it, to be honest. I'm a bit in love with it. If it had air AC, I might keep it for a while and um, take it driving, cruising, take it to some shows. Look at that. That's taken, there's 30 hours in the polishing on that alone, you know. Um, there's probably 10 plus hours in, on the interior. We still need a few little bits and pieces, but this is going to be listed in the coming week. What do you reckon? Do you like that? Are you into the old Ford lasers and the old Mazda 323s? Is that an era thing? How old were you when you saw one of these? You know, do you remember? Did mum take you down to the footy with it? What do you reckon it's worth in Australia? What do you reckon it's worth? And should I go ring Grays and see if it might go to their classic car rocks? I know it's not a classic car like an old EH or a HR Holden or XY Falcon, but... There's a place in Australian history here. Anyway, let's call it a night. We'll say goodbye and uh, we'll catch it up again probably next weekend, but probably next episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, find it, buy it, fix it, flip it. And um, by the way, I'm not going to be... Just quickly, I'm not going to tell you to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification from now on. You're all YouTube educated by now. I think it's a bit much for everyone to keep jamming it. It's like a broken record. I hate watching it, um, so I'm not going to say it anymore or push it anymore. You will do what you need to do. If you like my content, you know what to do. Um, Sharing is probably more important. Share the video around. That's what I love. Uh, what else? Yes, we are moving towards a 1,000 subs, and I'm basically ready to monetize, which I will do, um, so I can buy a cheeseburger a month out of it, like Jason over at uh, Streetcar Culture. G'day, mate. Hope you're doing well. Anyway... We will catch you later. Love is all. Ciao for now. And enjoy your garage. Enjoy your cars and have some fun. It is fun. Otherwise I wouldn't do it, I guess. See ya.